Linear diameter dimensioning. In linear diameter dimensioning is used for sketches such as this of a part that's going to be revolved. So if we spin this around, we're going to get more of a cylinder shape. So um, we spin this around and we get some sort of, this would be the sides of the cylinder, this would be the bottom of the cylinder. Now when we manufacture this, we cannot use linear dimensioning because it would just have the length from here to there. and It would only be half the length we typically want in manufacturing to have the diameter symbol, which is the Greek letter phi, and we want to have that for double the length of this for this and the one that's spun around on this side. So we're going to use the linear di diameter, which will double the length and also put the, the, the Greek letter phi symbol for diameter in there as well. So we're going to go up to the dimension. We're going to pick on this first line. We're going to come over and pick on the second line. And then I'm going to come down and right click and say I want to have a linear dimension. And now it's going to place a linear dimension in here of one and a half. That's where we're going to spin it from. And say, ah, we want an inch and a half. And we'll say, ah, we'll come down and say 1.25. And boom. Now we're going to spin it around this 1.25 uh, and make a, a hollow drum out of this thing. So it's uh, also uh, this works really well if I have a center line so if I come up here and turn on my center line and I draw a center line of where this will be when I pick on that center line it'll actually go uh, and choose know that it's a center line and then it'll allow me to right click and go to linear diameter and then I can pick my linear diameter down here as well so if we already have that certain line established, we can use that as well. So the lunar diameter puts the, the uh, Greek letter phi in front, and it spins around the center point of this. So this will make a revolve shape when we're done making this part.